So when it comes to creating engaging content with your iPhone, there's this one trick that will instantly take your mobile videos to the next level. We're gonna talk about it in just a bit. All right, let's see where we're going. All right, so we arrived. Let's get started. Now, I just see too many beginners making the mistake of just filming the scene from one angle, and that just looks super boring. While this may seem the most convenient option, just using one perspective, it often results making the footage look uninteresting. So that's why in this video, I really want you to understand the importance of capturing your scene from multiple angles and how it can drastically improve the overall quality of your videos. No matter what video you create, shooting the scene from multiple angles should be second nature to you. You heard me mention scene a couple of times, but what does it actually mean? To understand why capturing various angles matters, let's start by defining what a scene is. So a scene consists of multiple shots that capture a moment in a bigger story. So let's take the example of me exploring the forest. One scene in my forest adventure could be when I discover a hidden cave. And what I do is I take several shots of me exploring the inside of the cave. And when I piece these shots together in the edit, we then have a complete scene that captures that moment in an engaging way. And remember, this scene is a smaller part of the whole forest adventure story. Now, another scene could be me gathering wood to create a fire. And these are all moments that come together to create a larger story or adventure. So now that you get what a scene is made up of, let's dive into why getting different angles matters. As humans, we naturally crave variety and change around us. Seeing the same thing repeatedly can get boring fast. And especially in a social media world we're living in where the intention spam is quite short, adding that variety can help captivate your audience. This also holds true for filmmaking. If you film a scene from just one angle, it can lose its spark for viewers to stand out. So mix up your angles and viewpoint to instantly grab the attention. It not only helps make the scene feel more complete, but it also adds depth. Think of it like this. Every shot is a puzzle piece that contributes to the story. So you're basically selecting the right puzzle piece to connect with the other and form a complete story. So using different angles and shots is like using different shapes of puzzle pieces to make the final product more interesting and engaging. So now that you know the importance of capturing different angles, how do we do it? I call it the three shot rule. And what I like to do is cover the scene from three different types of shots, wide, medium, and close up. For example, in our forest adventure for the scene where I discovered the hidden cave, I would take a wide shot of me walking towards the cave. A wide shot captures the entire scene or location, giving the viewers a sense of where everything takes place. Then I would capture a medium shot of me entering the cave. A medium shot focuses on the subject and their actions, allowing viewers to connect with them. And then finally, a close-up shot either of the subject or maybe parts of the cave as a close-up shot captures the detail of something or someone, highlighting the emotions and reactions. And you can see that I have the camera always on a different spot. So I not only captured the shot from a different angle, but also from a different position. If I capture everything from the same spot like most beginners would, you would end up with the same shot just cropped in. Instead, get creative and take the extra step to find unique angles that show your scene the best way. And by simply following the three shot rule, you will have a scene that feels more complete. So just to give you an idea of how the process will look like, I'm gonna walk you through the three shot rule steps. And by the way, I'm gonna use the iPhone 15 Pro Max default camera app. And I'm also using a tripod and I also have a clamp here that allows me to mount my camera on the tripod. I'm gonna link uh, the product in the video description below. So first of all, we wanna capture a wide shot. I'll be shooting in 4K, 25 frames per second. And I also like to lower the exposure value to negative 1.0 because the iPhone tends to overexpose the shot a bit. Now I've already set up the shot and what I'm going to do is walk into the frame and towards 
the cave. And before I start recording, I'm gonna set and lock the focus and exposure. This way, no changes will happen. And what's really cool is that I can use the Apple Watch to monitor myself when using the default camera app. So with the Apple Watch, I can now frame myself. Let me see where I should stand. Uh, this is way too far. So I should probably think around here. So I'm gonna get out of frame. And from here, I'm gonna start walking and go. So now that we have that wide shot, let's move over to the medium shot. So now I'm gonna create a medium shot of me from the side and then walking towards the camera. And I've changed the position. I have my tripod set up over there. And for this, I'm gonna use the 2X lens. So I'm gonna set and lock the focus, get an exposure over here. And I'm gonna start recording. And finally, I'm gonna create a close-up or detailed shot of the cave. And what really stands out to me are these uh, water drops. So I'm gonna try to get close to it and add a little bit depth. Nice, I got this one. Beautiful shot. So as a bonus tip, why not go beyond the three shot rule? While three shots are the minimum, feel free to capture extra footage if you can. I usually get those three must have shots and then throw in two creative ones for more options in the edit. This way I can choose the best shots or use all of them to tell the story in the most engaging way. Now, as for my first creative shot, uh, I want to get a POV shot of me walking. So what I'm going to do is just film my shoes as I walk through these dead leaves leaves and branches, set and lock focus, and go. Now, since I'm much quicker setting up the shot when shooting handheld, I'm gonna have a POV shot of my hand. Now for this, I'm gonna use the ultra wide angle lens. This will introduce a new perspective, and then I'm gonna set and lock the focus and action. So for my last creative shot, I've angled the camera lower to the ground. This way we have more depth and I'm gonna go for the ultra wide angle lens. Uh, this will be sort of our ending shot. Then I'm gonna set and lock focus on the brightest part of the image. And I'm gonna shoot in 4K 25 frames per second. Let's do that. So let's now put the shots together to create the final edit. And I'm also gonna include the behind the scenes footage to show you how each shot was created.
right, folks, so remember, when shooting a scene, don't settle for just one shot. Use the three-shot rule to capture wide, medium, and close-up shot to add depth and variety to your footage. And also, don't be afraid to get creative and take the extra shots for more options in the editing process. This simple yet effective technique will help elevate your videos and make them more engaging for your audience. Now, this is just one of many techniques for capturing cinematic shots. And if you want to learn more, check out my mini course, iPhone Camera 101, where I teach you everything on how to film using the default camera app to produce quality content on your iPhone. The link will be in the video description below. With that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care and see you in the next one.